Published 1506 Eastern Standard Time, the 22nd of January 2019. Updated 1556 Eastern Standard Time, the 22nd of January 2019. Two New Orleans Saints fans on Tuesday sued the National Football League and its commissioner Roger Goodell, pictured to force a review of the team's controversial 26 to 23 loss in Sunday's National Football Conference Championship that sent them. Los Angeles Rams for the Super Bowl to New Orleans Saints fans on Tuesday sued the National Football League and its commissioner Roger Goodell to force a review of the team's controversial 26-23 loss in Sunday's National Football Conference Championship that sent the Los Angeles Rams to the Super Bowl. The teams were tied 20-20 late in regulation when officials failed to call pass interference or helmet-to-helmet -helmet penalties on Rams cornerback Nico Roby Coleman for knocking Saints receiver Tommy Lee Lewis down as he awaited a pass. Had a penalty been called, the Saints could have tried to run down the clock and kick a winning field goal with seconds left. Instead, the Saints settled for a field goal sooner, allowing the Rams to tie the game and send it to overtime. In their complaint filed in a Louisiana state court, Saints season ticker holders Tommy Badeau and Candice Lambert said Goodell should enforce an NFL rule they believe gives him power to negate the Rams' win or restart the game. That rule lets Goodell act when a calamity occurs that he deems so extraordinarily unfair or outside the accepted tactics encountered in professional football that such action has a major effect on the result of the game. The rule also bars Goodell from acting when teams complain about officials' judgments or routine errors. Games involving such complaints will continue to stand as completed, it said. Scroll down for video Rams cornerback Nico Roby Coleman committed a blatant interference penalty with a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit on Saints receiver Tommy Lee Lewis late in the fourth quarter, but the referees did not call it. Instead, the Saints settled for a field goal with 141 remaining even Roby Coleman admitted he should have been flagged, came to the sideline, looked at the football gods and was like, thank you, Roby Coleman said. I got away with one tonight the NFL did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The Saints have not formally complained to the league. The Rams are preparing to meet the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl on February 3rd, even Roby Coleman admitted he should have been flagged, came to the sideline, looked at the football gods and was like, thank you, Roby Coleman said. I got away with one tonight, on Sunday, Saints head coach Sean Payton said he spoke with Reverend via phone shortly after New Orleans lost to the Los Angeles Rams, saying Reverend admitted to a blown non-call on a play that should have been ruled pass interference in the final two minutes of regulation, the explanation. It was simple, Payton said of his discussion with Reverend, they blew the call. Not only was it, pass interference, but it was helmet-to-helmet, -helmet contact. Matt Bowers, a New Orleans car dealership owner, paid for 10 billboards across Atlanta through Super Bowl Sunday thus far, over 549,000 Saints fans signed an online petition demanding a rematch refs missed a blatant pass interference call against the Los Angeles Rams late in fourth quarter of Jan. 20 NFC Championship game, possibly costing New Orleans Saints a trip to the Super Bowl, sick, read the change. Org petition. Due to refs' inability to properly officiate at the game, we the undersigned want a rematch against LA. On Sunday, Jan. 27. It's the only fair solution to this travesty of epic proportions, Louisiana car dealership owner Matt Bowers paid for 10 billboards across Atlanta through Super Bowl Sunday, including one outside Mercedes-Benz Stadium where the game will be played February 3rd, that read, NFL Blow It, Saints fan and New Orleans native Harry Connick Jr. said he would boycott the Super Bowl over the missed call. Over 549,000 Saints fans have signed an online petition demanding a rematch New Orleans native and Grammy Award-winning musician Harry Connick Jr. Pictured will not be watching the Super Bowl, as he explained in an open letter to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell after his hometown Saints lost Sunday's NFC Championship game to the Los Angeles Rams by virtue of a Blown pass interference Collie love the game of football so much, the NFL gives me great joy and has for many years, the 51-year-old former Grammy winner wrote in an open letter to Commissioner Roger Goodell.
to not call the pass interference, helmet-to-helmet -helmet penalties at the end of the game was one of the most disgraceful no-calls I have ever seen, prospects for Tuesday's lawsuit are unclear, although some similar prior cases have been unsuccessful. In December 2014, an Oklahoma State judge refused to restart a high school football playoff game after officials wrongly negated a go-ahead touchdown with 104 to play. District Judge Bernard Jones wrote that while some observers viewed the outcome as a tragedy, more tragic, however, would be for this court to assert itself in this matter, reversals of U.S. Professional sports results are rare. In 1983, baseball's American League president voided a New York Yankees win against the Kansas City Royals and ordered the game restarted from where the Royals' George Brett had hit a go-ahead home run, but was called out because his bat had too much pine tar. The Royals won three started game. Saints coach Sean Payton said after the game that the NFL head of officiating admitted to him that the referees blew the call. Payton said he and his team will never get over it.